2004, uh, and with Aaron and I with a different with a different DJ that we used to play with, and then in the last couple of years we started to play a lot more regularly as a band, and little by little we started adding pieces of the puzzle naturally. It sort of just fell into place. Chris ended up just naturally becoming the guitarist of the band from us becoming friends, and him sitting in with us and playing with us, and it just sort of very organically became this band and, and, and then we had uh, lots of different drummers over the last couple of years until we finally settled down with Torch okay. just this year okay. it's been great now that this is the final the final lineup we're really into it he's almost done with his initiation process <laughs> we made him miss his flight ball. yesterday he had to like stay in DC and try to figure out how to get to Indianapolis by himself yeah it was a trip He's almost done. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, um, like, what is your inspiration and what makes you guys choose to play the sound that you do? It's very unique. Wow, that's a, yeah. that's a good question. I think it's like you just, like, when you take four different people and you put them in and you mash them all together, like, the sound ends up happening. It's not, like, what you choose so mm -hmm. much as what you end up with yeah. from who you put in your band. Like, when we change drummers, the band changed drastically. So it just goes to show that it's not so much what you're looking to do as much as what you get out of what who the people are and what their mm -hmm. sounds individually yeah. are. So it, every, every band is just, like, a sum of the parts, and if you change the parts, the sound of the band is going to change. And... Okay. Um, We've seen it over the years with all of the bands that we've been in. As you change the members out, you know, the fluidity of the drum beats changes or the, you know, the styles that each person is influenced by changes. And so it's just, you know, it, it evolves into what it is a lot by who the people are. And that comes obviously from what you listen to and what you, you know, but even what you listen to doesn't always end up influencing what you end up sounding like as a player. It just comes from within each person has their own individual voice and you almost sometimes can't help what it yeah. is that's just just the way that i have a deep gravelly voice like that's my voice i can't change it i can't just start talking like this one day it would be like <laughs> would it be me that would be weird huh? so you know it's really like you weird. just like have your voice <laughs> as an instrument as an instrumentalist and everybody mm -hmm. you take those four voices and you put them together and you hope it sounds right i appreciate that as a fan it came out of just like you know kind of at, at first we we were a group of three but there was always extra people kind of conspiring with us musically like <laughs> okay. so eventually we just became the conspirator you know just okay. we were out on jam cruise and you're in the middle of the ocean and like with like wow. thousands of kids out on a pool deck it's, that's one of the best places you could possibly play yeah under the sun that's like we yeah. played at the top of Red Rocks this summer that was pretty cool I haven't been out there. We'll right. play in Costa Rica in the month. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. We play a lot of new places that are just like rocking when we get there. Yeah. It's like, wow, we can't wait to go back there. You know? And then there's this, the staple places where we have our fans that come out. So, so like, what else do you play? We played in Aura Festival. Okay. Aura Festival and, uh, is coming up. Florida next month with Lotus and Papadocia. Yeah. Buku really Festival good. in New Orleans. Buku. We played Buku yeah. in New Orleans. Yeah. That's a really cool one. Yeah. We've just confirmed a couple this week that are actually really exciting that we can't tell you about, so I'm not sure why I'm talking about it. <laughs> Conspirator, all the stuff, Facebook, Twitter, conspiratorband.com. We play a lot. And we're just having yeah, a lot check of fun. the tour dates. We're around. We're having if you guys are in the Midwest, ever. we're coming back in two weeks, you know? It's like we're, we're going to be coming back and coming back. February 1st, Chicago. Perfect. That's not too close far. by, yeah.
Like I'm in the middle of an interview right now. Video. Video interview. Of a, of a video interview. This is really awkward. <laughs> so why, did you, why did you have your phone on? Why would you have your phone on? Why would you do that? <laughs>